We're going to use the pen tool to select this because we want to make icons, custom shapes, our own custom shapes, our own custom shape library, so we don't have to use icons that other people have used over and over again. So I'm going to start with the pen. You have to have anchor points. So I'm going to start and select this up here by the spout. And then I'm going to click and drag a little bit. And then I'm going to hold the Option key and click because I wanted to get rid of that handle on the right. And then I'm going to click over here and curve. And then I'm going to keep going. So I don't worry too much about um, making a mistake. I'm going to hold the Option key again because I don't need this guy. So, I'm sorry, it's the Option key and when I hold the Option key, notice my pen has a little triangle in its lower right. I have to hit the anchor point that has the handles to get rid of the handle on the left. There we go. That'll make it easier to continue the curve around this way. You can do this after the fact, too. You could do this whole thing in linear points and go back in and delete handles and stuff like that. Like, I'm going to go, I'm just going to click a linear there. But now I'm going to go up here and make a curve point. Now, notice there's a thumbnail developing over in the channel in the in the paths panel see this and we're making the picture the shape of the picture I'm going to go down here I don't want sometimes I use linear points I'm using ah see but I'm going to leave that I'm going to go fix that later I'm going to drag click it when you click and drag remember it makes a curve point so some of these are linear, some of these are curved. Most of them are curved on this round picture. And if I, if, if I don't like it, that's the beauty of the pen tool, and we've done this before, is that you can edit these points pretty easily. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the one on the right, and then I'm going to go here, see? And then up here, we're almost done. I might have to add a point or two, like that maybe needs another point there. I'm going to go there. There we go. And then when you see the circle, you've joined the path. Now we know that right down here, because we're in Auto Add Delete, we can just add a point, and when you add a point to a line, you see a plus sign. And then I'm going to hold down the modifier key to get the white arrow, which is Command on a Mac and Control on a PC. And then I need to add another one there. Again, the modifier key. And I want to look around. I see a little bit going on here, but not too bad. Look all around. It looks pretty good. Doesn't matter. It'll update anyway. If I change it, I'm going to call it Picture LACMA because Los Angeles Institute of Contemporary Art has this in their collection. Now, the one thing we have to do is take out, it's not going to look like a picture, is take out that handle. Oh, I see a little tiny fix that needs to be done down here, and I'm just going to pull the handle out a little bit. There we go. Now, the one thing I need to do is change to exclude overlapping shape. Got my mouse is kind of funky here. And I'm going to click. That's where I started. Click and drag it. If you notice the thumbnail in the Paths panel, it's creating an open space where I'm drawing the inside of the handle that we want to be there. I'm pulling, pulling, pulling. We really don't need this one. So I'm going to click on the anchor point. See, I have that teeny tiny 
like open triangle there. And then I'm going to click here, uh, a nice little curve here, and then back to the start. Now I think I need to add one right there, get my modifier key, pull this out, and I see a few little things that need to be fixed, like right here. When I see that modifier key with the plus, it's going to break the handles. So I want to just have a little more control up here. Um, looks like we could add one right there and just pull it out. And there is, this is what our custom shape is going to look like. So I'm going to um, now, you have to make sure, I'm going to take my direct selection arrow and make sure all your anchor points are visible. I see a few things I could fix, but I'm not going to waste your time right now with that. Go to Edit, Dev Define Custom Shape, Picture, P-I-T-C-H-E-R, and I'm going to put LACMA so I'll remember. Picture LACMA, and then I'm going to go here in the vector shapes, the last one is the custom shape tool. If you don't have the custom shape tool, if you have the rectangle, you won't get your choices up here in the options bar. So you have to make sure you're in this blob-like thing. Click down here and lo and behold, well there's two of them because I made one before. And here's the one I made before and I don't need it. So I'm going to hold down the option key. See that little scissor? and get rid of the, the one that had the all lowercase, and this is the one I just made. Just so you can see what it does, we're gonna, we're gonna select it. I'm gonna put a color, let's say put red in here, and I'm gonna go over here, and there's the shape. Now you had to make sure that you were in shape when you drew that, well, and we were in custom shape, and if I wanna change the color, I can double click this and it brings up my color panel and now it's pink. Now it's cyan and click OK. So now I have made a new custom shape.